In this video, I'm going to show you how I redesigned this website to make it look like this and also the reasoning behind all the decisions I was making throughout the process. All right, so let's look at the first thing, which is layout. If we look at this website, we can see that everything is sort of put together and it's very, very difficult to communicate the message uh, when you land to this website. And just one thing to remember, uh, if you're a graphic designer, what you need to do is to make sure that whatever you're designing is communicating the message. Design is not about decoration. All right, so let's look at the layout. So first of all, the logo here is way too big and this is not the focus of the website or the service. So the first thing that we did is we made the logo small. Again, if we come back here, we see that these navigation buttons, they are in speech bubbles. There's no need for that. They're bold, they're big, and the text is too small, so it doesn't really look nice. So again, we simplify that and just made it normal text. On the uh, top right, we have this slider going on here. And to be honest with you, this is a distraction. So we got rid of that and we used a nice big image. So now you can see we've created a lot of white space. Again, this is a, a very good use of white space because it separates the logo from the navigation. It makes it very, very easy to find and follow. Let's move on to the next thing. We have this big title here. Now what we did is we laid, we laid this out in a much, much better way. So if we come here, you can see that our main image now has a call to action. So we have the title, the subtitle, and also the button. So it's very easy. When you get to the website, you can tell what the website is about. And also the message is complemented by the image. So if we scroll down here, we have the pricing. So here, the way the pricing was done, I mean, it's, it's, it's not very impressive. In fact, to be honest with you, it looks very childish with these 3D icons. So we made it look modern by just having a basic table. Now this blue, we sampled this blue from the logo and the price has a description and a get started now button. And it also has the price in orange, which is a complement of blue. Moving on, we have these steps, these step one, step two, step three, in my opinion, it doesn't really look nice. So we simplified it. And again, if we scroll down here, you can see that, you know, it has now has a title and also these steps. So that looks much better. It's easier to read. It's got a lot of white space. The eye can follow what's on the page easily. Let's take a look at the social media buttons. To be honest, these look very hideous. So we improved that by having the buttons here on the side. And again, they, they are in a static position. So when you scroll your page, they always be in the same position. And when you start liking the page or tweeting, there's a number that shows there, which is quite good as well. So the final thing is to make sure that your website is mobile friendly. And to test this, we use this plugin. Okay, so I'm just gonna use the iPhone for this example, and you can see that the whole website fills the page and this is not what you want. Okay, so if we go to our newly designed website and do the same thing, we can see that our website is responsive. So this is how I redesigned this website, mynetwheel.co.uk. Let me know what you guys think and also Give me your suggestions on what you could have done in this redesign. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe or go to our website creativeastro.tv and subscribe to our newsletter. See you in the next video.